so hello everyone today i'll be continuing the nssp of nssp video so today is a special video as i'll be telling you how the question will come as a model paper so the nssp notification has been out for 614 posts and many aspirants have no idea what the syllabus will be and what kind of question will be asked in nssp so in this video today i'll be clearing some doubts and i'll be showing you some of the questions that will be asked in nssp so first of all let's look at the syllabus before going into any exam you have to first look into the syllabus what the syllabus is asking after that only you have to study for the exams so the first will be paper one and paper two and the paper one if you look at first is general knowledge general knowledge will consist of history economics polity science current affairs and so on general english 25 marks uh, 25 questions which will carry 50 marks that is each question will consist of two marks and there is negative marking that it will consist that it, uh, the, uh, the negative marking will be one by third of the total marks that is 0 0.6 so first is general knowledge for 100 marks which will consist of 50 question that is 50 question that you are each to two markers that is 100 next is general english 25 questions will query 50 marks and general comprehension english comprehension will consist of 25 marks that is it will, first paper will consist of 200 marks second paper will consist of computer only computer 50 questions and it will consist of two marks that is 100 marks total so here also uh, computer will be 50 marks next simple arithmetic plus min uh, that is arithmetic lcm percentage uh, profit and loss and all other kinds are provided and it will consist of 30 questions that is 30 to the 60 so 30 into 2 each question will can you two marks it will be 60 marks and next is general reasoning and in, in intelligence and reasoning that is reasoning will consist of 20 marks so the total will be 200 so all together paper 1 and paper 2 will consist of 400 marks containing 200 questions so so paper 3 will be specialized post for the post of plumber electrician horticulture extension assistant etc so this will consist of purely 100 question and it will consist of two marks and the duration of the exam is three hours that is from 9 to 12 uh, for example so and every question will be mcq no answer writing nothing only mcq format so paper one will consist of general knowledge as i have already told you of uh, a question will be asked to test the candidate's knowledge of current events that is current affairs and everyday observation and experience and it will consist indian history and culture indian polity including constitution of india geography general science naga history and culture will also form part of the syllabus general english will consist of uh, fill in the blanks articles vocabulary spelling grammar sentence structure synonyms antonyms etc english comprehension will consist of a a paragraph where a question will be asked and you will be uh, answered uh, you will have to answer the question and general next is uh, basic computer knowledge uh, relating to various other subjects and this syllabus can be obtained in the nssp uh, website next paper two uh, maths will consist of simplification number system roots average discount percentage profit and loss ratio and proportion partnership chain rule time and work time and distance symbol and components menstruation permutation and next is general intelligence will consist of reasoning um, which includes an analogous similarities and differences special visualization special orientation problem solving analysis judgment etc so to uh, here i'll be explaining eh, the and paper 3 will consist of specialized knowledge 
So next I'll be explaining what type of question will be asked in the exam. So this is a model question paper that is obtained from the Arunachal Pradesh staff selection board exam. And this will this uh, this uh, will help you to assess how the exam will come. So you have, you will be provided with a roll number and answer sheet like this and you have to uh, fill in the blanks. So first is general English. So uh, first is paper one so paper one will consist of general knowledge and general english consisting of 100 100 marks so general english will consist of like this choose the synonym for the given word indict gluttony gluttony means greediness like this uh, So, uh, it will be gratuitous in chain so uh, next will be choose the antonyms antonyms means opposite convoluted so convoluted will be straight convoluted means uh, something which is irregular in shape so the opposite will be straight so question like this will be asked Next, fill in, the, fill in the blanks with suitable phrasal verbs from the alternatives given. Arbita's goal help the team pull out to pull, team to pull touch a victory. So it will be pull through a victory. So uh, this type of question will be asked in the NSSP exam 2022. So next is passive voice. Choose the alternative. So the headmaster assistant both a circular to my class so you have to choose from this following options so the answer will be a circular was being bought by the headmaster's assistant next is appropriate proposition in the form of bill in the blanks next is uh, give one word substitute for the following moral and cultural decline as, char as characterized by excessive indulgence in pleasure or luxury so this type of question will be asked in the general english question so this is not the official uh, question for nssp but it is rather a question set by the arunachal pradesh staff selection board exam so since all staff selection board exam have a similar pattern so even though the syllabus will not be the same i'll just give you an idea of what the question will come so fill in the blanks with conjunction next is fill in the blanks with adverbs so all are two two marks each so this type of question will be asked in the exam fill in the blanks with appropriate form of verb from this alternatives given below and next is comprehension i've already told you english comprehension will be there in which you'll be provided with the passage and you have to answer question from question number 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 like this and just the correct option with alternatives given below so this type of question will also be asked in the exam and this passage next is again a passage and here you'll be uh, ask to answer the passage next is basic computer so basic computer will be asked uh, your computer knowledge so first question while processing a cpu stores the data as well as instruction in its local memory known as the so it will store in the ram random access memory so like this uh, 100 for 100 marks it will be asked so 50 questions would be asked for Com uh, computer so an ms word in a in a word document touch provides information about the current uh, document that is the view button so this type of question will be asked in the nssp uh, computer exam In 1969, the American Department of Defense started a network of devices known as ARPANET. So, like this question, will be asked for the computer also. Next, general knowledge. General knowledge will consist of history, geography, history also ancient, medieval, modern, 
geography, polity, general science, current affairs, etc. So, for example, what is the theme of the United Nations World Water Day? The Earth's orbit is closest to the Earth in the so it will be perihelion. So, like this, this type of question will be asked in the uh, current affairs. Next is science. That is ornithology is the study of birds. Like this, this is a general science question. And number one, which of the following commonly used as an anti set which uh, neutralizes the excess of stomach in the body? So it will be magnesium hydroxide. Like this. So this is general science question. Uh, which state has stopped the good governance index? So this is general uh, current affairs. Which part of the constitution deals with fundamental rights? So this is also part of the uh, polity, as I've already told you. Altitude of Bumla bus is approximately Dutch. So this is geography. And which, uh, which is the Tinified District or Natural Protest? So this is, if in case of Nagaland, it will be Nagaland portion. Next is Elementary Maths. So Maths will consist of like this, basic um, Elementary Maths, that is x is equal to 1 by 3, y is equal to 1 by 4, z is equal to 1 by 5, then x is y is, is to z is 1 by 3 is to 1 is to 4, like this. So you have to solve and answer the following questions. So profit and loss will be asked in this portion. Likewise, simple mathematics will be asked in this uh, in this format and ratio also. If 150 is divided among A and B in the ratio 1 is 1 by 2 is to 1 is to 3, then B share is and time and distance. And next is this one. That is the sum of two numbers is 28. Two times the first number is greater than twice the second number by 16. The numbers are so. Like this, like this type of question will be asked in the maths. LCM of 96 and uh, 404. HCF of 672, 120. And LCM, HCF and this profit and loss. By selling an item for rupees 24, the shopkeeper earns a profit Present profit equals to the cost price of the item. The cost price of the item is so this basic geometry and uh, simple interest and this task completion. That is, if Mr. A takes four days to complete the task and Mr. B takes six days to complete the task, uh, then A and B together will complete the task in how many days? So, this type of question will be asked. In the exam and some uh, geography uh, geometry mensuration will also be asked in, in this format the area of a parallelogram whose base length is 36 cm and height 15 cm will be provided in this way and next so I have, I have already completed paper 1 in paper 1 in paper 1 it will consist of uh general knowledge that is history science maths uh, history science geography polity and next is general english comprehension and uh antonyms synonyms etc next is paper two paper two will consist of computer as i've already told you ram uh, ms word problems computer and next is next is maths or simple arithmetic so paper 1 and paper 2 has been completed next is paper 3 so paper 3 will consist of will will be part of those posts which consists which has uh, specialized posts such as horticulture extension or plumber or electrician so today i'll be here in i'll be explaining the paper 3 format so paper 3 format this is an electrician for electrician post that is for every for every specialist post the paper will be different for example if you are applying for electrician then the equation will be based on electrician only for plumbing only plumbing for horticulture horticulture uh, subjects will be asked and 
this syllabus can be obtained in the NSSP syllabus uh, NSSP website so go through this so this question is for electrician that is for example the practical voltage source has emf of e and internal resistance of r ohms the if it applies a lot of one ampere and the terminal voltage is like this so this is a specialized post don't get confused that this will be asked in the exam this is only for specialized that is paper three paper three uh, format so for example in a dynamometer watt meter the fixed coil is so this type of question will be asked in the exam so with this the video has been completed on nssb crash course uh, for nssb exam so this video has been designed to give you an idea of how the exam will how the exam will be conducted and what type of question will be asked so that the so that the aspirants are prepared for this for this type and since this is the first time NSSP has been completed, you will need to know some of the questions uh, format so you can easily visit the Arunachal Pradesh staff selection board to view this for question format as NSSP has not included any uh, any mock paper. So since there is no mock paper i have just downloaded the arunachal pradesh paper and so that so as to give you an idea of the type of question will be asked so in order to know what the exam is going to be you have to first know how, how the exam is going to come so please stay prepared and if you want to have crash course then kindly join aspirant circle the link will be provided in the description and the crash course is just 4899 and you can contact in this number at 4150 So with this the video has come to an end. I hope you all understood something. Thank you for watching and have a great time.